Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said, The Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north, and from all the lands whither he had driven them. And I will bring them again into their land, that I gave unto their fathers. Approximately a quarter of the Israel population, the people who came from the land of the north, they are Israelis who speak Russian. Hence, Shevet Zion is one of the big congregations in Israel. The members of the Shevet Zion congregation, as the rest of the Christian world, believe that the New Testament is the only true and logical consequence of the prophecies of the Old Testament, revelation of Abraham, Moses, David, and the prophets, together with the teachings of the Messiah Yeshua of Nazareth and his apostles, is an integral part of the book and is is inseparable. It is a calling of the Jewish people. Our goal to restore faith in Jesus in Israel today and let the people from the other nations know about the importance of the restoration of the Jewish roots of the faith. Haifa Theological Institute, founded in 2009, its purpose is to provide theological education and leadership training in Israel and abroad. From September 2013, there's a program of distance learning via the Internet. It consists of two key subjects, Biblical Studies and Messianic Judaism. The program is open to all Russian-speaking believers of all denominations all over the world. Young adults, children of single mothers, often find themselves not knowing what to do after school. They formed groups, collecting cigarette butts, drinking beer, and sometimes they are only 13 years old. That gave them a sense of purpose. We can only imagine the consequences of such a lifestyle. When there is no father figure, and mothers are left alone to raise the children while having to work to provide the basics. Therefore, there is no time for their education. Growing up, these children begin using alcohol or drugs. And you can imagine the end of this road. Many years of helping people, we came to the conclusion that it is better to guide the child at the beginning of his path and give him a useful hobby so that they would not have to deal with their problems alone. The objectives of our music school is not only to educate good musicians, but also to attract children from disadvantaged families so that they can grow and develop. It is inspiring to see our school children progress given that some parents cannot afford school fees. Since the establishment of the school, we are already seeing positive results of this work. Media Project Oasis service began in the year 2000. It was first introduced as a newspaper called Oasis. When we saw the demand among Russian-speaking believers throughout the world in January 2013, we started a video project on the Internet. The main objectives of the project included bring the good news of Yeshua, our Savior, to the Jews and then to other nations, provide an opportunity for believers of all denominations to meet with the interpretation of the Holy Scriptures with Messianic Jewish and viewpoints, 
To do this, our studio, Oasis Media, invites the most famous and modern Messianic teachers of the Scripture, as well as Israeli Messianic pastors. The project is focused not only on the Messianic Jewish believers, but for all people who believe in the Messiah Yeshua, Jesus Christ, and to those who seek deeper knowledge and understanding of God. Interest in our project from Christians and Messianic believers around the world is growing every day. So we pray that God will open new opportunities for us. Humanitarian Soup Kitchen Is it important today in Israel? The desire to help others is not just a hobby. It is the mission entrusted to us. God promised to bring us back to our land and to bless us. Then why are there people in need? Because through believers, God wants to bless his people so that we, as his children, can reflect the character of the Lord, that we may see the needs of others, care about them, and be generous givers. And that is what we are trying to do. We are simply doing what the Lord Yeshua has commanded. We help those in need. We invite you to join us to show God's love to the people of Israel who are not aware of it. Ministry to Holocaust Survivors You know when we reach out to the people who have survived the Holocaust, the prophecy from Ezekiel chapter 37 comes to our minds. We simply see that these people, they are the dry bones. They went through such horrors through hell on earth. When they were torched, their loved ones shot to death before their very eyes. Today these people are elderly. They are our fathers, our grandfathers. You know, ministering to these people, we are honoring them and their heroic deeds. On the foundation of those deeds, God has brought about the rebirth of the modern state of Israel. This is a house of Israel today, alive, never to cease existing again. Together with our children, by reaching out to them, we experience the blessing of the Lord who said, Honor your father and your mother, that it may be well with you on the earth. You can also take part in the ministry together with us. It brings blessing. <laughs> 